you've ever wondered what the frame of a 40 foot fifth wheel would look like after the cabin was ripped off here it is this was an older fifth wheel it's 40 feet long something around that 39 40 something like that that's the fresh water tank that's well it's junk but it's still in there this was the frame or is the frame of that RV so this is where it stepped up there was a bedroom up here it's the fifth wheel hitch this uh, storage area here had an AC unit and where you could put propane tanks And I stripped it all down. We were going to do a, a tiny house. Try to go very lightweight. It had three 3,500 pound axles. So this probably was a, you know, 10 to 12,000 pound RV. If you count in uh, hitch weight. But uh, they're pretty sturdy mounts. I've got some 7,000 pound axles that I was going to bolt under here and have two sevens and uh, like I said go lightweight with it we were thinking on a more of a cabin style tiny house but um, I don't know we may go something that's a little wider I've noticed a lot of tiny houses have been getting wide maybe 10 foot even 12 foot if you need to transport it just get a wide load permit but um, you get a whole lot more space out of a 10 foot or 12 foot wide RV than you do a uh, 8 foot wide there's a set of 7,000 pound spring axles 7,000 pound um, torsion axles and then two 3,500 pound spring axles that we had <laughs> So that's it. So we're still trying to figure out if we're going to do a tiny house, cabin, or just sell it. I'm not really sure. But um, I'll let you know more when we decide. All right. If any of y'all like my videos, please subscribe if y'all want to see what, uh, what happens next with all the little projects and adventures. Hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified. Thanks.